Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving a question about summing amplifier in differential configuration. And this is similar to Mr. Sedra's book question 2.47 of the 7th edition or question 2.48 of the 8th edition with some modification. And this is on the request of a student from Turkey. So straight away to the question, if the resistance R is 2K, now we can see this is an operational amplifier. We have the negative terminal and the positive terminal. All resistances are same value, except for the load resistance. Now these resistances are 2K and the load resistance is 2.4K. Uh, and these are different uh, inputs. Find the output voltage V dot and the current through the load resistance RLN. So output voltage V naught we have to find and then we have to find current through the load resistance. Okay, now the, I'll uh, follow two methods. Uh, one is the uh, recommended uh, based on um, Mr. Sedra's teaching. And the other is the general uh, concept of operational amplifier, then a theoretical concept. So first of all, we'll do the theoretical concept that we have learned. And for that, what I have done here is I have marked current source, I1, I2, I3, I4. Now in this, you can see that I1 and I2 entering and I is leaving. So this loop, uh, or this node V1 or node 1, we can say. Similarly, at node 2, where the voltage is V2, I3 and I4 entering and leaving is I5. So at node 1, we can write the KCL equation at this point or this point, same thing. By KCL, I1 and I2, so I1 plus I2 entering is equal to I leaving. And then we can write them in terms of voltages. So th this one is VA, and this we are calling node one voltage as V1. So VA minus V1 divided by R. Similarly for this, VB minus V1 divided by R. And for the outgoing, it is V1 minus V0 divided by R. Now since R is common to all of the denominators, so we can straight away eliminate R. So we get this uh, equation. And now selecting the like terms, these two we move uh, to the right, so it will 3V1 minus V2 is equal to VA plus VB. And just to have an idea what will be the value, you can see it is minus 3, VB is minus 4, so it will be minus 7. Okay, so this is our first equation. CV1 minus V0 is equal to minus 7. Then we go to node 2. Now this is node 2. Here also we'll write the KCL equation. So I3 and I4 entering and I5 leaving. In terms of voltage, this will be Vc minus V2 divided by R. Then I4 will be Vd minus V2 divided by R. And this one is V2 divided by R. Again here, R is common to all of them. So we can get rid of R. So we get this equation. Here also we'll collect the like terms. So it will be 3V2 is equal to Vc plus Vd. And putting in the value, it is 6 and 5, so it is 11. So our equation number 2 will be 3V2 is equal to 11. So we have found these two equations for the node 1 and node 2. Now one point, Okay, this was the circuit. 
Important point to note is that we know that the operational amplifier two terminals the voltages at the nodes or at the entrance of the operational amplifier are equal. So V1 is equal to V2 or V2 is equal to V1. Therefore, from here we can write that 3V1 is equal to 3V2 is equal to 11. And now replacing V1 with 11, we replace V1, 3V1 with 11, we find the output voltage to be 18 volt. Now once we have found the output voltage, we can easily find the current because the resistance is 2.4. So current IL is V0 over 2.4 is equal to 18 divided by 2.4, so equal to 7.5 milliampere. So this is the answer. And this is my preferred method. But Mr. Sedra recommends another method and that is uh, the superposition method. So by superposition theorem, we will solve this. And this is courtesy of this website and this a very good uh, explanation. Okay, so in the superposition, what we do, we keep only one source active at one time and make all others zero. That means if we keep the top source active and put all these ground or zero and since the input is at the negative terminal so this will be an inverting amplifier in, in an inverting amplifier the input is applied to the negative terminal and this is the formula for inverting amplifier so we have to rearrange this to make it look like this so let's try. Okay, now uh, you can see from here straight away that there is no input here. So all these are zero. That means this positive terminal is grounded, uh, connected to ground. So we can say that positive is connected to ground. So this meets this requirement. In the negative terminal, again, this is not contributing anything, so this effect is zero. So what is left is this and only the upper resistance loop. So it is exactly the uh, inverting amplifier. Now what is the formula for output of the inverting amplifier? V out is negative RF over R1. So this is RF feedback. In our case, it is R divided by R1, in our case it is a R again. So it will be negative R over R and multiplied by input VI, our input is VA. So R over R gets cancelled, so V out A will be minus VA. Now based on this result, we can draw another conclusion that if we ground this, and make this active from here if we ground this and all other and make the B terminal active then we should get the output due to B to be same as the input with the negative sign so negative VB that is an important conclusion that we can draw from here so this was for the inverting part of the amplifier and now we'll apply the same logic to the non-inverting terminal. So we keep this active and make all others uh, zero. Now, you can see these two are in parallel and this is also in parallel and the input is being applied at the positive terminal. So we should arrange this circuit look like this uh, non-inverting amplifier input at the positive terminal and these two resistances and the output will be um, 1 plus RF over R1 V in. Okay, so we will uh, here, now we can solve these two in parallel. And so it will be R over 2, R parallel, R same value, therefore it will be 
r over 2. Similarly, these two in parallel will also be r over 2. So this circuit is now more like this, except that here the voltage is applied directly at positive point. In our case, it is not applied directly. So we have to find from this uh, resistor, resistive load, what is the voltage at this point or what is VA or what is the voltage at the positive terminal. So simple by a voltage division rule. This voltage can be found by voltage division rule. Vc is the total voltage divided by total resistance and multiplied by the resistance across which we want to find the voltage, so R over 2. And simplifying, we get the result to be Vc over 3. So here it is Vc over 3, V1. And so our circuit will now look like this. It is exactly the same as the uh, non-inverting amplifier in here. So we can apply the formula. So we were here. And we can calculate the output due to uh, this one, due to uh, C uh, input. So we calling it V out C. Applying this formula, 1 plus Rf is our R divided by R1, R1 is R over 2, so R over 2, multiplied by the input V1 or V in here. Okay. Now, R, R will get cancelled and this one goes up, the whole thing will become 3, so it is 3 V1. And V1 we have found to be equal to Vc over 3, so Vc over 3, 3, 3 gets cancelled, so it is Vc. So what do we conclude? That for this output for the C input is same as the input, that is Vc. So same logic for D. This is D terminal. So here also we can then say that V out due to D is equal to VD. So we have now found all the four outputs. So the net output voltage is V out due to A, V out due to B, then V out due to C, then V out due to D uh, terminal inputs. And this was, if you recall, V out A was minus V A, V out B is minus V B. And we found uh, just here that V out C is plus V C and V out D is plus V D. And now putting the values, this is minus 3. So minus minus 3, this is minus 4, minus minus 4, plus 6, plus 5. So the output is 18 volt. And once you have found the output, you can uh, straight away find the current by dividing through by the uh, 2.4K resistor. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know which method you think is easier and better. Thank you. Wait for your comments.